Hello all, welcome back to Tech Tapture. So in our previous video, we started integrating our ADK agent with the MCP server. So we created one ADK agent and we integrated it with the Google Maps MCP servers. So now in this video, we are going to create a database MCP servers and we are going to integrate our ADK agent with the database MCP servers. So what we are going to do, so we'll create one MCP server for database and we'll be using a Google Cloud BigQuery and then we will integrate with our agent. So we'll just check what are the tables in BigQuery and we'll get the insight on the data as well, how we can check the data in BigQuery and also not only the querying the data, we'll get insight on the data also. Okay. So how it is going to work? So we are going to work with the MCP servers for database and we'll use the mcp toolbox for database so what is this mcp toolbox for database just try to understand that first and then we will jump into the demo okay so what is it so mcp toolbox for database is an open source mcp server for database okay so it is you can see earlier it was a genai genai toolbox for database but now it is renamed as a mcp toolbox for database where you can easily create a tools and you can create a secure connection to the database from your Genie agent okay so what are the key features so secure access as i mentioned and then the pre-built tool so you don't need to invest yourself yourself for creating the tools and then the connectors so it is having inbuilt connectors okay for connecting to your nosql and sql databases like bigquery cloud sql or postgres sql mysql so it comes with the inbuilt connectors okay then the genia integration so as i mentioned its earlier name was the genia toolbox for database now it is renamed as a mcp toolbox for database but it has all the genia integration inbuilt and then how it works so basically mcp toolbox run as a server exposing the database tools so it's just a mcp server which is open source and it connects to database and it export the database tools these tools can be used from your ai agent so ai agent can fetch the tool i mean it can list the tool and it can call the tool okay so it will just pass few parameter let's say we have to execute a query so it will pass some parameter it will generate a query and then it will execute on the database and give the response back to the llm so the server handles all the database interaction securely and results are a return to agent for further processing so let's say i'm asking okay the employee who is having highest salary so in that case what will happen this is my natural language question the employee with the highest salary so my llm will convert that natural language sentence into the sql query and then that query will call a uh, mcp execute sql tools and that tool will execute a sql on the database and it will get the result okay so let's say it will get only one record but it will again convert or process by the llm and it will give you the response in the natural language it will give the response okay the employee xyz is having the highest salary it will not just give the result so whole result is also processed by the llm but what all databases are supported by this mcp toolbox okay so as this is closely aligned with the google cloud ecosystem so you can see the database supported here so all db big table big query cloud sql dataplex spanner memory store so all all databases mostly which are commonly used even the mongodb is also here so you can connect from ide so which can be your uh, vs code or cursor and also you can connect from the agent so it can be your adk or lang graph okay so in this video we are just looking at the demo of mcp toolbox for database using the ide and in our next video we are creating the adk agent with the mcp toolbox for the database so we'll first create mcp servers we'll test it and then we will connect it to the adk agent so let's check for the first demo how we can use this mcp toolbox for database in our id so we'll be using a vs code so let me just open a vs code here so i am having the vs code here and this is my workspace so i'll just create one folder here and i'll name it as a mcp toolbox database you can give any name and i just want it into root directory i created wrongly in the adk mcp folder okay so we'll be working only within these folders okay so how to integrate your mcp toolbox for database mcp servers within the vs code so we had a initial demo where we created our first mcp servers in a vs code using the google maps now we are creating our mcp servers in the vs code but we will be using the mcp toolbox for the database okay so this is the official documentation for mcp toolbox for the database and 
and you can see the mcp toolbox for database is an open source server for database you will see all the documentation in python javascript go and main thing is this i shown right this is the architecture which database it supports so i'll just show you which all sources it supports so you can see this is the list of the source alloy db bigquery bigtable cassandra and all the list available here these all databases are supported and this list keep extending okay so now let's say i want to talk about bigquery so it will show me how we can create a bigquery source okay so this is the bigquery source so we want to use this mcp uh, server for mcp toolbox for the database in vs code so i'll just follow this documentation okay so how we need to do it first we need to install the mcp toolbox okay so i'll just follow the instructions so let's say i'll just copy this command first we have to download it and then we have to run it okay that is the process so i'll show you the steps so first install mcp toolbox then set up connection so copy it into the vs code okay and then test our tools so first step i will just copy it okay i'll just go to a vs code and i will just open a terminal and i will download a toolbox okay so one more thing so this version we have to specify a version where we can check the version so you can see the version it is mentioned so this is very older version okay v0.7.0 if you go here and if you see the releases so i will get any one version so i will not take the latest one also so i will just take the 16.0 so let's go back v.0.16.0 okay okay let's check it downloaded okay so there is some issue it haven't downloaded correctly no object so i given the dot here which is incorrect so let me just delete and run again so it should be v0 not without zero yeah from the size you will understand yeah now it is downloading the toolbox okay so i created in the root directory let me move it inside i should have created within okay so let me just go inside fine now this is the first step we did we install our toolbox now how to run it or how to check it so we have to also give the permission okay so else it will give the permission error i will show you first okay so permission denied so i will give the permission let me try to execute the version now and you will see the 0.16 this is the version now how to run it okay so now we are running it in the vs code so what i will do i will just create one uh, file here dot vs code slash mcp dot json okay so i will create one json file for mcp and i will paste the code mentioned in the documentation okay so if i go here you can see the visual studio code documentation and i will just copy this code i'll paste it here now two important thing here so path to your toolbox so this is in the same directory so i'll just give the same path project id so this should be your google cloud project id where you are want to connect to the bigquery project now important thing okay so it it will use your a uh, local credentials okay so it will use the google default credentials so i already have the google default credentials you can enable it using gcloud auth application default login okay so it will not require any service account okay so if you print uh, run this command it will ask you to log in and it will use the credential so let me just click on add server okay i think this directory should be in the root again so let me just move to the root 
okay so now you can see it has option to start now so let me just start it so each mcp service whenever you create you need uh, one ai or llm to connect with so we will be using the copilot within our vs code so i'll first start the mcp service okay needed to run needed to run BigQuery was not found okay now the path should be different now path should be mcp toolbox database okay within that toolbox let's see restart yeah now it is started correctly okay now how i interact with this mcp servers i'll just first show you my bigquery also so i'll do go to console.cloud.google.com and i will show you the bigquery and the data set i'm having just to validate the result if my mcp servers working correctly okay so i am having this labs project and i am having these all data sets available in my labs okay so let's go back to the vs code and i'll just open the copilot okay so i'll just start interacting with copilot So here you can see the nine tools it is having access to but let's ask copilot if it can have access to the cool tools so i'll just ask directly which tools do you have access to so it will be having a lot of tools access not only the bigquery i'll show you where we can check that okay so bigquery data works so it is having the bigquery capabilities can run validate sql list data set table page table or data set metas metadata and all these access it is having so let's validate if it can do this work list out all data sets in my project so we have to mention the project name as well or it will ask the follow-up question okay so it should be showing these data set names airflow starting from Arvind DS till the transform okay yeah so one important thing it will ask our permission that he want to run the list list data set tools so yes i will allow and then it will run that tool in uh, mcp servers okay so you can see here discord 9 tools and it is given all the data set from Arvind DS to a transform okay so now i will ask show me tables in df demo data sets okay so i am talking about now specific this df demo data set so let's see there are some employee table employee streaming employee tr health data lot of tables are there so again it will ask permissions it's running the tool now and it is having all this table now i will ask can you help me to understand what data is available in employee table and how many records are there okay so let's say you don't want to allow always let's see if we have option to allow always yeah we have option allow in this work phase always allow but i will just do allow in this session auto approved for this session so it will not ask every time and it is now running the get table info so from all these tools let's say if you want to check all tools available so you can see all these tools are available bigquery execute sql focus get data set info get table info list data set id list table id and then the sql also it will execute 
okay now it will ask to execute a sql so which sql it is running so it is running the select star and limit 10 so let's do it so it is running two sequels one more sequel just to answer our queries so what it is saying so it has given all the information the row count 1000 size 71 kb and then what we are having the date created last modified the schema and the summary stat total row salary all all example it is given the sample row 10 all information it is it is given from the table okay i'll just ask give me employee with highest salary okay let's see it will ask a follow-up question or it will understand from the memory yeah it it understand from the memory that i'm asking about this table so it will get the highest salary so it is again the executing the sql okay so this mike johnson is having highest salary okay it it got the record for this and this is a accurate answer so hope this is clear now how we can use the mcp toolbox for the database in the ide which is our vs code so in our next demo we'll be creating the adk agent and we are integrating that adk agent with the mcp toolbox for the database okay so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in the next video